Fairy Rotodyne was a pioneering British aircraft that aimed to combine the best features of a helicopter and a fixed-wing airplane. Here's a detailed look. Concept and design. Compound gyroplane. The Rotodyne wasn't just a helicopter. It was a compound gyroplane. This meant it had a large four-bladed rotor for vertical takeoff, landing and hovering like a helicopter, but also fixed wings and propellers for efficient forward flight like a conventional aircraft. Unique propulsion system. Tip jets for vertical flight, takeoff, landing, hover. The rotor blades were powered by unique tip jets. Compressed air, bled from the main turboprop engines, was mixed with kerosene and ignited at the blade tips, creating thrust that spun the rotor. This eliminated the need for a tail rotor for anti-torque, as the torque was effectively cancelled out at the tips. Turboprops for forward flight. For cruise flight, power was transferred from the rotor to two Napier Eland turboprop engines mounted under the stub wings. These engines drove conventional propellers for forward propulsion. Transition. The aircraft could seamlessly transition between helicopter and fixed wing mode. After vertical takeoff, the tip jets would be switched off and the rotor would then auto-rotate, contributing to lift alongside the wings while the turboprops provided forward thrust. Fuselage and capacity. It featured a large, unobstructed rectangular fuselage designed to carry a significant number of passengers, up to 4050 in its prototype form, with plans for up to 70 in a production version or freight. It even had rear clamshell loading doors for easy loading of vehicles or large cargo. Performance and records. First flight, the prototype, with military serial XE521, made its first flight on November 6, 1957. First transition. The first successful transition from vertical to horizontal flight and back occurred on April 10, 1958. Speed record. On January 5, 1959, the Rotodyne set a world speed record for Convertiplanes, Class E2 at 190.9 MP, over a 60-mile, 97-kilometer closed circuit. This was significantly faster than existing helicopter records, challenges, and cancellation. Noise. One of the most significant drawbacks of the Rotodyne was the extremely high noise levels produced by its tip jets especially during takeoff and landing. This was a major concern for its intended use in urban areas, city center heliports, and ultimately proved to be a critical factor in its downfall. Cost. The project was very expensive, with total costs estimated around 21 million. Lack of orders. Despite its innovative design and impressive capabilities, the Rotodyne failed to secure firm orders from military or airline customers. British European Airways, BA, a key potential customer eventually cancelled its interest. Political and corporate changes, ferry. Aviation was acquired by Westland Aircraft in 1960, and in February 1962, the UK government withdrew its financial support, leading to the cancellation of the project. Legacy, only one prototype of the ferry Rotodyne was ever built. While it never entered production, it remains a fascinating and ambitious attempt to push the boundaries of aviation. It demonstrated the feasibility of a large, high-speed VTOL aircraft and contributed valuable research to the field of rotorcraft design, even though its specific propulsion system, tip jets, proved too noisy for practical application at the time. Its fuselage section is now preserved in the Helicopter Museum in Western Supermare, UK.